If you really want to know how I made that little landscape on my thumbnail, all you need is this watercolor paper, brush and washi tape and some watercolors. So without me wasting much further, let's get started. So at first I made the borders and stuck them with washi tapes washi tapes on all the four edges to get that clean borders so never hesitate to start with your sketch materials because you never know you're going to end up making a really good one so it is going to be really easy just follow the tips I'm going to be giving you in the upcoming video so keep watching and make yourself entertained to get that beautiful landscape so get started i used blue that is the lightest blue to make clouds i used them not fully i just made small clouds and made spaces between them white spaces i left between them so as to get that natural feel of white and blue clouds so in this way you could actually achieve the clouds making just blue i'm just using blue and nothing with it you could actually see me dipping my brush into blue with the wet brush and then making small little strokes of them creating a space between each blue and making a small space of white between them As they get dry up slowly and slowly moving towards the mountains I used the dark blue the darkest blue and then using it really lightly at first because I'm not sure of the mountains and I am just having a hand free on them I used the darker tone of blue again and because there were water on the other surface of the mountains and the color starts bleeding and i just made a quick brush on them after they got dried up i started with purple with more of water and less of the purple shade because i wanted a light kind of feel and not really dark here i slowly give another stroke over them it is just back and forth technique and started blending them all out baking any creases without making any creases and then I started with green the dark green and light green I mixed them up to get the field I used again more of water and lots of color and brushing them off the excess water on the paper and then finally I am on the field making more of green I used three different shades of green over here finally I am taking red for the flowers just a tiny flowers randomly spread on the field there isn't much it is the small little flowers all lying around with more focus on the front and less focus on the back just making some drops at the back so that it makes feel that it is a smaller one moving towards making their stem and then I used green the dark green and making stems for all the flowers laying around after I finished making the stems I moved towards making the grass I made grasses around the flowers at first focused the flowers first and then made them lying or around i took a light shade of green over here and further i will be taking another shade of green to make more grasses laying around 
as you can see I could I took more green and making more grass to make the field look more greenery and greenish all around and with that you I finish up making the landscape took the washi tape out as they get dried out and that's the final outcome it is actually really easy to do best of the